Hey guys, Video Edge back here and today we're taking a look into everything you need to know about substance in Sandship. It's one of the most frequently asked questions we get on our channel and it can be one of the more complicated aspects of the game so we're going to try and answer a few of these questions over the course of the next few minutes. So let's get started. So the very first thing you need to know about substance is it underpins everything to do with Sandship. So every design you make, big or small, it's going to consume substance. Now it goes without saying, the bigger designs, the more complex designs are going to consume more substance than the smaller ones. We can see here at the top we've got a substance cap of 3000 and we want to try and keep that full so we've not got a deficit of substance as that causes other problems as we'll go on to in a short while. Now if we take a look onto the left hand side here on the Sandship tab, we can see looking on the right hand side that Currently at level 6 we are producing 50 substance per second. Now this varies on the Sandship level that you're currently at and as you can see when we increase the level here it adds an additional 5 substance to the Sandship capacity. So if we go ahead and turn on a few of our designs here we can see on the right hand side that with those two factories activated we're consuming 193 substance per second. And because that's more than we're generating, we can see the substance cap at the top start to deplete down to zero. And the reason you want to avoid this hitting zero, it will reduce the efficiency of the factories and you'll start to produce less materials per second. As we can see on the right hand side here, the output has dropped. So it's in our best interest to keep this nice and full to stop this from happening and slowing down our production. Now there are a couple of ways to increase your substance if you are operating at more than you currently generate. The first one is to increase your Sandship level as we've already discussed. The second is to put down these substance harvester buildings to add more substance to your total. Now these are found in the buildings tab and they cost 20k per building. So they're not exactly cheap but they do play a vital role in keeping your Sandship running nice and smooth. As we can see on our Sandship here we've got five of these currently placed down and if we take a dive into one of these we can see that they're full of these substance generators. Now these are the things that are actually going to help you produce more substance. They cost 1500 each and you can have a maximum of 16 in each substance harvester. So all in your 20k plus 16 times 1500 it's going to cost you 44,000 credits to fill one of these up which might seem like a lot for the newer players, but once you start to advance through the levels, it becomes much more affordable. Now if we turn this on, we can see that it provides 16 substance, so you get one substance per substance generator, and these help reduce the deficit of your substance if you're operating over the odds. Now if we turn one of these factories off, we can see that the substance on the right has gone down to 89.97. Now if we click on one of these substance generators here, don't worry if it says 0 out of 16 like ours do here, all that means is it's currently not in use and you're not requiring the extra capacity that that's providing. But if we turn on one of our factories again we can see that we're now using 12.72 out of the 16 so there's still a bit of capacity left in these for some more operations. So if you're interested in how much capacity you're currently using you can see it on the right hand side however you can also go back to the Sandship tab and take a look into the top left corner you can see on the usage bar by turning on that one factory we've still got an extra 10.26 substance left in reserve if we needed that for anything else. So obviously the more substance harvesters you place down with your substance generators the more capacity you'll have but it does compromise on space for other factories so you've got to try and strike the right balance guys. If you have too many you might not have enough space for the rest of your buildings but if you have too less you might not be generating enough substance to keep them all running. So depending on what setups you're at have a play around and see what works best for you. If you are looking to reduce your substance consumption we'd recommend trying to make your designs as efficient as possible. Try to avoid large numbers of devices. The more devices you'll have the more substance they'll consume so efficiency is key if you want to try and reduce that substance down with each build that you make. One other quick point on the sandbox building is that it does not consume any substance. So if we flick this on for example we can see that whilst the consumption is 29.28 if we flick off that we can see that the total consumption hasn't changed and we're still at 103. So if you want to test out your design seeing how much they consume always best to produce them in the sandbox building first and then you can get an idea to see how they're going to affect your total capacity in your sandship before you deploy them. That about wraps up this one guys we hope we've helped clarify a few issues for you on the substance if you do have any follow-up questions please let us know in the comments as usual but as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye